Travelling by motorcycle, you are always connected to the road. And roads connect everything together. Roads are the heartbeat of the world. Life happens on the road. You get to experience it all. The in-between places, heading to destinations that end up becoming destinations themselves. When we embrace the rhythm of the road, we're not only travellers, but storytellers, listening to what the world has to say. What started off as a crazy dream, what started off as a line drawn on a map, the idea of riding one time around the entire world turned out to be the adventure of our lives. Are you ready to hit the road, ride around the world? Yes. Let's go. We're going to go to the right first. <laughs> hey, here we go. Here we go. Hey. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, Ace Cafe. Goodbye, London. <laughs> This is the first time that we'll have ridden this bike with absolutely everything on it. Our little house is on the bike. <laughs> everything is on this bike, even a ukulele. <laughs> yes. Whee! Oh. <laughs> Bonjour! First off the boat, baby. There it is, the Eiffel Tower. 300 meters tall. This is crazy. Wow. Nice! Look at that! Beautiful! Oh my god! <laughs> In some countries, they have vending machines for snacks. In France, they have vending machines for baguettes. Let's go get some lunch! <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We have reached 1,000 miles! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> so just 29 times more what we just did. I would say quite easy, hey? <laughs> <laughs> yep, 29 times more and we're around the world. Yes! There we go. Welcome to Spain! <laughs> España! <Whee>. <laughs> Country number three! Whee. It's really like a wild west landscape. <laughs> it's like almost like a mini monument valley. Yes. This is an adventure bike. This bike is ready to go on dirt roads. It's ready to go off-road. We just have to be ready to go with it. Quite a big one. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, f <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, what did I do wrong there? Didn't keep going, hey? <laughs> we uh, have a little bit of a tear in our foot pedal bracket from this last fall.
We don't know if this is a good idea, but uh, this is the entrance into the area that we're looking to camp. So I think Lavi's jumped off and I think I'm going to give it a go. Okay, nice and straight, nice and smooth. There we go. That's how you do it. Yes! Chris, the legend, without a diagram, <laughs> without without a picture, without a diagram, managed to fit us a new one. So this is the new part here that we fixed, so it doesn't have a big fracture in it anymore, and uh, the foot pedal actually sticks out straight now, which is nice. Ish, straight ish. Whee! Okay, I just get our passport. Yeah. Hello, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Some fried eggs and some bread, and I saw the oven actually. It's, it's like a wood burning oven, like really traditional. So it's gonna be really, really nice. Look at that. Whoa. Looks good. Oh, look, there's already one and two and three. <laughs> Aha. <laughs> oh, it's a monkey. Oh, no. I hope this means good luck, but a monkey just on our bike. Look at that. Oh no, what a mess. Oh no. Okay. Wow. Wow. <gasps> what a oasis. Well, we were just in the massive flat plains of the desert, like just going along, 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 like, okay, it just looks flat here all the way. And then boom, we come down into this massive gorge. <laughs> and it's just boom. full of Green. date palms. Look how many date palms there are. It's incredible. Look at where we are, and what your name, Yusuf. Yusuf, welcome. 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 Thank you, thank you, Yusuf. Whoa, the desert! I can't believe it's raining and there's a storm in the Sahara. Probably the one time in a year. <laughs> Look, there's some camels right in front. That's cute. Nice. Look, it's camels. Awesome. That's awesome. Camels. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Look at that. Wow. Wow. It looks like it, it will fall like in no time. And there's like no protection on the edge of the road. Whoa, look wow. at this gap. Wow. Oh my God. Is this even a road? This is insane. 
Good luck and good travel. Thank you. sweetheart because I was surprised by the gravel straight away and then boom okay these guys are walking on the road <laughs> oh. uh, Sama! Sama! Yeah! <laughs> All these goats! Uh, Sama! <laughs> should we wait? I think, uh, what should we do? Don't know. They seem to just be going and going. <laughs> the goats, sorry! <laughs> Excuse me, it was the goats! <laughs> 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 I really don't know how we are going to pass these goats. I don't know. I, d I really don't. I mean, we're like taking the goats away from the herder. Oh no. I really don't know what to do. They're not leaving the road. Should we just, um, don't know. Don't know what we're supposed to do. Should we wait? Yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god, look at this. The legend is true. There are goats in trees. So I can't believe that, really. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hello. <laughs> How cool is that? That's crazy. Look at these goats. You wouldn't believe it, but 41 degrees. The bike is registering 41 degrees. When I lift my visor up, it's like when you open the door of the oven. So it's by far the hottest day on the road so far. It's unbelievable. It's really, really, really hot. <laughs> so our aircon. Yeah, homemade aircon. Homemade aircon. <laughs> A big big landscape wow how rocky everything is and you can see like no no trees no bushes nothing can grow here really <laughs> no, out there yes. is just red rock wow <laughs> and I just can't believe it and I can't believe it <laughs> just amazed at the color of the mountains and the different layers of sediment like the lighter kind of orange and then the sort of darker reds wow look at this all here wow oh yes i think i can see up ahead some blue it's very very hazy and dusty still but up ahead that is definitely the ocean for the first time in like 30 days. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it just feels like a new chapter of the journey, you know? <laughs> yeah, it feels nice. I feel like, you know, it's the end of our internal Moroccan exploration and the start of our coastal ride down to Dakar. This is the first part of it. This is it. We've hit the coast again. That's amazing. What a spot, hey? <laughs> <laughs> Good evening guys, <laughs> we made it happy and alive <laughs> to our spot here on the beach. <laughs> yeah, have a look at how close we are to the ocean.
Look at that. Look, we can finally see our destination, Dakar. Last day in Morocco. Is it time to hit the road? <laughs> no, we have to go back. <laughs> Do everything again. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, my love. I didn't see anything about that. I didn't see anything about that, sorry. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just quickly pick this up. We are here, we have just entered Mauritania. Whee! We are inside Mauritania. We passed by all the controls, passed by everything, and we are here on our way to Nuadibu. And it feels amazing. Look how windy. And sandy it is out here. This is a pretty hostile environment to drive in, I must admit. And look, sand blowing over the road. We've got a strong wind coming from the coast. Oh my God, it's just mental. Yeah, it's super uncomfortable. It's very not nice at all. <laughs> Whoa, look. It's the iron ore train. I don't think it's very deep. Let no, me... no, just go through it. Uh-huh. Yeah, just go, go through it. Yeah, I am. I'm just uh, taking it nice and easy. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. this highway never gives up, hey? Salam. Bonjour. Salam. <laughs> Salam. English and German. English? English. Alemania. Yes. Yes. Deutsch. Yes. 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 I think the ocean front is just in front, so we'll just uh, cut, go to the end of this road and then we'll just have a little look. Look at all these. Up, oh, up, 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 are you okay, are you okay? No, no. C'est possible. I'm Tiad. Merci. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Ah, merci. Parfait, merci. <laughs> Chukran. Oh, oh my god. Our first wildlife. Warthogs in front. Oh, little warthog family. The mom with the two kids. Oh, we just saw the first warthogs. Yay. That's so, so cool. This is a safari now. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, some more warthogs ahead. Here it is, Barrage de Diama, the border of Diama. And we have officially entered Senegal. Woo! Woo! 
Starting our day in the middle of the desert, we couldn't quite believe the abundance of colors, sounds and smells. Go, let's hit the sand. So I have to come round the building here and then down. And this is where <laughs> this is where the sand gets a little bit deep. <laughs> Bonjour. Oh my god guys, hold on a minute, let me get to the side of the road. Whoa, this is a huge group of vultures. Wow, I never saw something like it in my life. Oh Please my don't attack me guys. <laughs> and look, they're fight they're like fighting over everything. Look at them. Yeah, what is there? I don't know, a dead something. Oh it's a donkey. Look at the size of this baobab. <laughs> We've got to stop and see this. Wow. That's nice. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool. That Pretty is cool. a big tree. <laughs> this is the biggest baobab in Senegal. Whoa. It's measuring 32 meters of circumference and it's all of 850 years. Look at this. This guy's going inside the tree. Look at the size of this tree. Oh, Lovey's going inside. Oh my god. Whoa. Yes, look here. Ah, yep. These are the little salt pools. Yes. The area doesn't look too impressive from the ground, but when you fly the drone, then it's super impressive. going to be making our way to the south side of the Cape Verde Peninsula, right at the bottom here, to the container port. Yes, today is the day, the final ride here in Africa with Bumblebee. Bumblebee is in the container, ready to go, and we can make our way out of here. Today is the day where I donate my hair to the Little Princess Trust. Nice! <laughs> wow! Whoa.
<laughs> Who's the one? Okay. Should we have a look if it's still like in one piece or if it's completely destroyed? This is it. We're opening the container. It's still standing. That's amazing. Wow. Mamma <laughs> This is like the bridge that signified the start of South America for us. This is leaving Rio. This is heading out on the open road. Oh yeah. my God. Exactly. It feels like that the trip is just starting right now. Yeah. Wow. And you can see over there, I can't really swing my head around much further, but that is Rio over there behind us now leaving Rio behind these guys just given us some pineapple pineapple <laughs> 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 Yes! Here he is, how are you? To the way? To the way! Wow, look at this! Look at this up here, wow! It's amazing, absolutely amazing! Nice! Wow! Whoa, look at this! That's epic, man! Cool! <laughs> look at this view! <laughs> oh my god! We're like on the edge of a cliff! Woo! See, sí, que lindo! No way! I think we can ride on the longest beach in the world. Yes! Look at this! <laughs> here it is! Wow, how cool is that? Look how many cars here! The longest beach on the planet! Playa del Casino! <laughs> wow! It's time for us to make our way into Uruguay. Woohoo! <laughs> hey! We are in! We've made it into Uruguay! <laughs> Country number eight. Yes! Oh. Look at this mud! This is ridiculous. You can see where I went like this, and then look, just sliding around. Look at the look at the line that we had. This part just got muddier and muddier. Yeah, I need think. Um, you can try it as it is. I try. Yeah. Think. Oh, 
Okay, hold on. Yeah. Our front front, front tyre is in the ditch though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three, two, one, push. Okay. Three, two, one, push. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Guys, look at this. Whoa. Oh my goodness. You say that's cute. <laughs> Look, Ali comes up close to a tarantula. I'm not a hundred percent on this. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> you know, he is kind of cute. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. Yes. A little bit of freaky wildlife for you. 9,999 miles. We have reached 10,000 miles around the world. Woo! Yes! 10,000 miles! <laughs> Yes, Argentina! just here <gasps> and all over the yes, beach yes, and all over there as well okay let's find a spot where we can pitch our tent then guys we made it happy and alive Whee! yes to the most epic place in the middle of the Patagonian desert have a look at this the tent behind the bumblebee look at this got a beautiful sunset behind us you got these amazing mountains all in the background this amazing vista it's oh, Mother Nature, I am impressed. I think this might be one of my favorite places we've ever camped. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. It's like arriving on another planet. Oh my God, really? Wow. I mean, this is like out of this world, really. Wow. Don't take a brush. 
He needs a brush. <laughs> this is three in one. <laughs> My hair's really sticking up <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That will do, hey? Oh my god, look at that drop down there. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit that's a little bit steep for me. Oh look Don't at that. look, don't look, don't look. No, I wanna look. Ah. And look, the road looks like it's half falling down. Oh my god. Okay, that's I'm not stopping there. Oh no way. <laughs> oh man. Crazy mountain pass. Wow, absolutely stunning, really absolutely stunning here. We are arriving in Ushuaia, the town at the end of the world. So pretty much that's the end of the south and now it's just north from here all the way to Canada. Yes! That's crazy, we've just let's, turned around. <laughs> let's go! <laughs> so we're just coming down now into the town Puerto Natales and actually Puerto Natales has been on our mind since day one of the trip because this is actually one of our antipodes. So for our Guinness World Record, we have to reach two points of the globe which are on opposite sides. One antipode is Ulan Ude in Siberia, and the other one is right here, Puerto Natales in Chile. It's a pretty bumpy road into the National Park, but look at these mountains. Bienvenidos a la República Argentina! I feel like having a Martin now. It's incredibly rough as well. Wow. Wow, that was really rough. <clears throat> ah. It's really annoying actually, now. Whew, Jesus. Let me just slow down here. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make my way across to this side. And then I think I will oh. stop. Oh, sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Oh, muchas gracias. Oh, I will go here, hey? Okay. Uh, okay. Ready? Go. Wah. Okay. Gracias. You guys will never guess who <laughs> one of these bikers is, <laughs> but he is here. He is here. <laughs> Mr. Nikos. There he is, all the way from Brazil. How are you? <laughs> and this is Nikos's bike. Whew, this one right here, look at this. Wow, look at this road. Incredible. Wow. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, this looks really quite nice, doesn't it? Perfect. 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 Nice.
Chile, Argentina. So we've just reached the next petrol station and look at this queue. The petrol station's way over there and it's just all the way down. So we were having a little talk about the route. There's a pass over to Chile, which is just coming up here. So I think we'll cross over to Chile instead. Bad news, Nikos's tire is flat. <sighs> yeah, totally flat. And then we'll follow behind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah! Good job, Nikos. Very good job. Vamanos a Chile, hey? Let's go to Chile. Welcome to Chile. <laughs> wow, it's absolutely epic views from here. Yeah, we're getting closer to the volcano. Villa Rica. Very cool. Come on! So Nikos yesterday said that one of his cylinders has stopped working. I don't really know the ins and outs of it, but he said he's just got one cylinder left. So he's having a bit of trouble to start it. Okay, gotta get him out of this spot first and then we can maybe roll him down the hill. Okay, ready, go! <coughs> Set. Yeah. See. <laughs> he's gone off. He's off down the hill and it hasn't started. and nobbly. Look how much tread it has. Mm -hmm. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, look, look, look. <laughs> when you compare, oh my God. That's so different, eh? Whoa. Oh my God, I think we're coming up to the beginning of Los Caracoles. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Welcome to the Atacama Desert! I mean, yeah, that place looks dry. Yeah, I cannot see any plants anymore. It's just sand and rocks for as far as the eye can see. And we can see for a long, long way. Good evening, guys. We made it. Happy and alive. Woo! Another day in paradise. Yeah, our tent has been set up in the middle of this. Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, you could literally walk anywhere you like around here. It's just empty around. Wow. So we named our drones now. And this one, the Mavic Mini is called Pinky. And our Mavic Pro is called The Brain.
¡Bienvenido a Chile Tal Tal! <laughs> Guys, look! We just reached the Tropic of Capricorn! Woohoo! Wow! Cool! Ruta del Desierto Tropico del Capricorno. Nice! Nice! Bienvenido a este lugar. <laughs> Gracias. Wow, coming up over Laguna Miscante. Wow. It's a massive lagoon. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. Just stopping for a rest in uh, Sokaire. We're both pretty affected by the altitude, I reckon. Um, we've both got a big headache and uh, feeling pretty tired, actually. Yeah, and it's just half day, actually. <laughs> I'm ready for bed. <laughs> yeah, and we didn't like exert a whole huge amount of energy, you know? <laughs> we, we just did like a one kilometer walk and then we were just riding around on the bike. So yeah. I think we are not acclimatized basically to this altitude, to yeah. like 4,000, 4,000 plus meters. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's affecting us a little bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can definitely feel it. So the El Tatio geyser field has 80 geysers here, making it the largest geyser field in the southern hemisphere. It's not hard to imagine where the warmth from all of this geyser... Oh my god! I think we have to... Oh my god. Oh. Oh God. Okay, that's actually really scary, hey. Oh, I just saw another lightning strike over there. Okay. I think the best thing we can do right now is to try to get back to San Pedro de Atacama, hey. Before it gets too rainy, too muddy, too bad. It's the worst weather for this road now. And we have about two hours. Yep. <clears throat> so not cool. No, it's not too cool at the moment. Let's just uh, try and press on and get down a bit to be honest from this high altitude I think that'll be it whoa, whoa. Jesus oh, oh my, my god. god look down that road it's just white and our road is white oh my god eighty kilometers to get back to San Pedro so we've made it to our camp area just outside of town and it's literally raining here. It's ridiculous. How is that possible? Of all the things I expected from the Atacama, I did not expect it to be raining, storms, hail, snow in the summer. I don't know what to believe anymore. Look at this giant, giant ring of mountains, of snowy mountains around us. Nearly 4,800 meters up now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Out of breath, completely. <sighs> you stop, you walk around for like 10 steps and you're out of breath. So it's now nearly seven o'clock and it's absolutely freezing and it's still wet and still raining. I think the temperature at the moment is about six degrees. So we're stopping now to do some jumping jacks. And just try to warm up a little bit because we have to do another climb before we head down. We just got out of the tent and there's like a whole 
herd of vicuna right in front of us. They're so cute. I think they're quite interested in us as well because they're always putting their head, heads up and then looking at us. Every time we make a noise, they're like, oh. <laughs> what are they doing? Paola. Ah, passport. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Uh, me? Uh -huh. uh, uh, 31. ¿A Bolivia dónde vas? Uh, to Pisa. Okay, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Okay, I think that's it. Now I think we are actually done. Gracias, ciao. There we go. We've made it into Bolivia. Woo! Yes! Oh my god. We just went into this pool of water and it's like a huge, huge ditch. We couldn't even see it, but it's a huge ditch. And then the whole bike just went whoa, off to the side. Tres, dos, uno. Yeah. Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Oh my god, we are right out in front of the salt flats now. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a place. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cool. Look at these bikes. Kawasaki versus Bridges bike, Kiva's bike. And they're over there. What's up? Okay, are we ready to take on Salori Uni? Yes. Yes. Let's do it. This might be really cool. This might be a disaster. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. We're in. Oh, okay. It's maybe a little bit strange, actually. Oh. Okay, definitely really strange. Really okay. strange. Whoa, it's so much deeper than I imagined. Whoa, yeah, <laughs> we're really sinking in. Whoa. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize that we would sink in so much. Yeah, me neither. Wow. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm not... We were super close to falling off there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Very stressful. That's crazy. Oh. Our wonderful host Patricia is going to write Bolivia on our box. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> in front of us is an absolute sea of buildings and I think that this is the beginning of the outskirts of La Paz. So this is a two-lane highway but the people have decided that they're just going to operate it as a three-lane highway. So now we've got just three lanes of traffic moving together. It's insane. It's a busy place. <laughs> it's such a busy place. Oh, I love it. I love it and I hate it at the same time. <laughs> okay, now we're officially in. Yes! <laughs> Welcome to Peru! Oh my god, we did it! Two borders in one day! Yes! Oh, crazy! What a journey! What a journey! Wow, we are really, really out in the sandy desert now! Look at this! There is just sand sweeping across the road and we've got a huge wind coming in from the coast. Yeah, so super crazy! This literally feels like we're back in the Sahara, hey? Yeah, totally! I mean, I thought like we get a nice, quiet, relaxed ride, but it's super windy and super crazy. Yeah, I had no idea that Peru was such a desert. Wow, that's insane.
oh my god we were so close to fall off at like 50 miles an hour like the bike completely slid i think there's petrol or some sort of oil on the road here yeah look look, look. wow look. wow that nearly killed us that's insane it's super super slippery there's like a festival going on in town as well i think it's the same festival since yesterday oh yeah we, look they're all parading down the street here oh no is there another troop behind us yeah maybe we have to start moving <laughs> Awesome. Is something quite weird as well. We've got something dripping from the bike, some like oil or something, and it looks like that it's coming from maybe here on the suspension in the middle. It looks a little bit wet inside there, just at the bottom of the suspension. No idea what that means actually, if that's something we have to, you know, get somebody to look at or not. Hmm. No idea. Mm. Love to see how that progresses. Oh my god, look at this cliff! Be careful, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It is a um, kind of hairy ride. Like, <laughs> it's nice and pleasant, but sometimes a little bit challenging. Yeah, some pretty big cliff drops. Yeah. And we're going through some pretty big gorges on the way, but man, it is spectacular though. Spectacular. Yeah, spectacular. Yeah, landslides, I think. Yeah. I mean, look at this bit. Jesus yeah. Christ. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Good, good, good. <sighs> I guess this is as far as we can get because the weather is not good enough for us to start like a two hour hike up there, so. I can see over there, the rain is coming already. Oh my God, yeah, it is on the other side of that valley. But we had a cool idea. We are gonna try and fly the drone from here and see if we can at least fly the drone to the Rainbow Mountain. So let's give it a go. It looks like something here. Yeah, I can start to see something. <laughs> Look, 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 there's Rainbow Mountain and... And there we are down there, <laughs> Rainbow Mountain there, we are there. Very close. Close enough. <laughs> I'm super surprised by the extent of these, of these landslides, of these man-made landslides. It's like a slalom parkour now here. <laughs> oh, what is going on here? It's Seriously. crazy, man. 
look at the trucks. They have to go like right and left. Yeah, it's like a truck slalom. Oh my god, the poor truck drivers. Wow. Absolutely wow. Oh man, careful here. Holy crap, look at that head. Can't believe it. Just can't believe it. Woohoo! <laughs> Bouncing around. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> What's going on? There's no tarmac anymore. What happened to the tarmac? <laughs> Why did they give up oh, on that? Man, the craziness just started, hey? Man, they're nearly crashing into us. <laughs> oh, um. Oh. Oh. Okay. That looks a little bit deep, hey? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep, I think it is uh, probably too deep. Okay. <laughs> it started to become sandy quite quickly. Okay, I will jump off. I thought it would be a little bit less sandy, but okay. Ready? Go. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah. Okay, we're facing the right direction now. Am I? Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. Hold on, keep pushing, keep pushing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, sold it, hold on. But we were on our way, ready, go. Yep. Okay. Woo. Okay, we're out. <laughs> It's okay, Ecuador. Yes, yes. Is Ecuador okay? A little water. A little uh, water, little water, yeah. Yes, you think to Ecuador, fine. It's, it's quiet. Careful, yeah. Slowly. Careful, slowly. slowly. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, stay on one side, not on the. Yeah, which one in the middle? I think probably. Hey. Yeah. Because look, I think it's muddy. This is the problem. Look. Oh 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 oh. How is it? It's okay, but I'm just okay? gonna have to, yeah, but I have to, it's like, it's basically a mud puddle. Oh, <laughs> Okay, stop here, stop here, stop here. I will jump off. No, no, I think it's okay. No? I'm just gonna okay. walk it. Oh, man. Oh, my God, it's so thick with mud. Oh, my. Oh, my lordy lord. Oh. Heart attack, heart attack. Oh. Look, now there's everybody out with their shovels. Oh no. Oh man. Okay, be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Hola. Good job. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy man. Oh no, it's already starting to rain. Oh no. We're just trying to quickly get our stuff on. It just came, it just hit us. Holy crap. Oh my god, there's like a river running across the road. Wow, there's a lot of water around. Oh my goodness. Whoa! We literally started this morning in the desert and now we're in the middle of the rainforest. And it's raining. What are these horses doing on the road? Guys, it's absolutely not the place to stand. Jesus. Oh my God. Getting some serious flooding now. Oh my goodness. 
Okay, this has got from bad to worse here. Look at this. This is absolutely ridiculous now. It's just a river for a road. Look at this. I'm not even joking. Oh my goodness. Look at these drains. What's going on here? Yeah. The fella's saying to go to the side. Okay. Wait, stop here. Hey! Huh? Then, what? I think he said like it's a lagoon or something, didn't he? Okay. Okay. Oh! Huh? There's people swimming here on the road. <laughs> Look, this car is, uh, is it still moving? Oh my god! No, no, he's out. He's out. Oh my god. What is going on here? This is ridiculous. Wow, no way! Oh my god. The motorcycle would have been completely submerged here. We would have floated away down the river. Oh my goodness! This is how wet my socks were for like the last six hours. Okay. Yeah? Okay. That looks really tight. Do you think I can get through? Yeah? Should I, should I try? Okay, and what about the bags? Do There's zero chance. Okay. Okay, push me back. I am stuck on here a little bit. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. It's okay? Ruta? Ruta is okay? Yeah. Okay, we'll start off like this and we'll see how we get on. Let's see what I can do here. Can you just tell me if I've got enough clearance? Oh, yeah, but here, look at this. Okay, mirror's being pushed down a little bit, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's try and go a bit further. Okay. If you look over there, you can basically just see that there's been a huge landslide somewhere in that region. It's been some kind of ride so far. Wow, and after so many days on the road in a row, my butt is really sore. But it's really crazy to think about that this is actually our last ride in South America. On one side, I'm really sad, but on the other side, I'm really happy as well. South America was a long way. Yeah. I mean, we were only at 7,000 miles when we arrived in uh, Brazil, right, in Rio. And now we're at 22 and a half, nearly 23,000 miles. A hell of a ride, hey? It's been a long way. One more leg to go. Cool. Cool. Terminal de carga. <laughs> yeah. This has got to be the cutest little sniffer dog ever. <laughs> ah, yeah, see? Okay.
Bye bye. Oli is flying with Bumblebee. <laughs> yep. Bye Bumblebee. See you in Panama. Look how pretty! Wow, they wrapped her up so nicely as well, like, it's incredible. Bumblebee is ready for a Central American adventure. There it is, riding over the Panama Canal. Can you believe it? I actually can't. <laughs> wow, look at that. Wow. Cool, so cool, really. Yeah, it's like one of those landmarks that you can't actually imagine ever being next to. Should I put it in the middle here? Yes, <laughs> yeah, put it right in the middle. Panama Customs. Ah. <laughs> she said don't put it over the customs logo, hey? Okay, we'll put it here. Okay, okay, put it next to yeah. 507 Overland. Yay. Goodbye Panama, they just sent me out. Rock and roll, baby. All right, all done. Gracias. So we have entered now the famous Costa Rican cloud forest. I saw a sign that this is some kind of cloud forest. Yeah, and it is very cloudy. <laughs> Whoa, okay, we're going over a crazy metal see-through bridge here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Be careful, my love. Yeah, that might be quite slidey for us, hey? Yes. Oh my goodness. Wow. Some crazy views. Crazy, don't look down. <laughs> No, this doesn't feel too great riding on this. Oh no! Wow! Hello, beautiful. Hello. These guys are so cheeky. Look at them. I don't have food for you guys. No. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I just booped him. <laughs> now he doesn't trust me anymore. I lost his trust. We're heading to this town, Masaya, because next to this town is a volcano called Volcano Masaya, which is like a totally crazy active volcano that you can go up to the crater of and see like the lava down below. It sounds absolutely incredible. And if we get there in time, we want to see if we can go there tonight. I think this is it. This is the car park oh, and that's the crater. Wow. Right in front. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're on our way to have a look inside the crater. Oh my god! You can see already the smoke coming out. You're just like, oh my god, how does it look? Yeah, look at this. Smoky. Look, the red. 
So we've had a bit of a disaster. We were just coming up to the front of Selva Negra and I stalled it coming up the hill, dropped it on its side. And uh, bent the foot pedal. It was a bit like this. So I thought, okay, I'll just bend it back a bit. And then it broke off. So, so that's not so great, hey? Okay. See, okay? Okay. So it's currently half past six. And we're just trying to see if it's possible to do this today. Oh, crazy. When two pieces become one piece. <laughs> oh my god! Look at that. No way. She saw all of these and she rescued us. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Bienvenidos a Honduras, amigos de Gran Bretaña, que la pasen bien. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Thank you so much. Thank Muchas you so gracias. Much. Welcome Honduras. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, we are officially here. We have entered Honduras. <laughs> Amazing. Nice. Country number 18 on our journey around the world. El mundo a tus pies, tanta gente en tus manos, sin nunca dudar de quién eres. So at the moment we try to figure out where the noises we heard yesterday <coughs> coming from. And so far we can actually see here that this rubber thing is not aligned anymore. So we pushed it in a little bit, but you can see here that it's coming out here on this side. So we don't really know like how good or how bad that is, or if this is like a quick fix, or if this can damage something. We have to um, look for a garage ASAP. No bueno, eh? No bueno. Val. Valinera. Val Valinera. You can see all the little balls are totally all totally broken. <laughs> Ah, okay, so normalmente más, no? Sí, 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 sí. todo. Ah, okay, wow. These two look so similar, it has to work. Yes? Wow. Bravo. These people, they do the great thing. I can't believe they are Honduras, Iguatepeque, Honduras. He's far away from London. Can you see this guy? It's amazing what they do. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie. Have a good day. Bumblebee lives on. Hola. Hola. Uh, migración y aduana. Migración. Uh, okay. Aquí? Okay. Gracias. Gracias. That was a bit difficult because we went to pay and we didn't have enough dollars to cover it. They wanted $35 from us and we just had 20. There's no ATM here. There's no way of getting money. The nearest ATM is like 30 minutes into Guatemala and we can't even get the motorcycle in uh, to go there. So we were pretty stuck. But then there was a guy next to us from the Latin American Motorcycle Association. There's like a whole bunch of these llama riders here at the border as well, and we've been chatting to them, and he offered to pay that bill for us, and he didn't want anything in return. He just said, no, I'm gonna pay it for you guys so that you can get, get this done. So this guy super helped us out. Absolutely incredible generosity here at the border. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See ya. Oh, this guy's awesome. No more crying. Thank you. Thank you. Something like that happened. Thank you. Don't be shy or nothing. Yeah, that's what we do. But, you know, ask everybody. 
you get stuff anybody want to help you oh that's awesome yeah you're, you're super kind thank you so much really thank you <laughs> camped here last night inside the Tikal National Park right next to the Mayan city ruins and about one hour ago we just had like this crazy howler monkey symphony crazy I thought that you were snoring <laughs> You feel like you are on the top of the jungle. You know, you feel like that you are really in there. Hola, buenas. Jugo de piña? Sí. ¿Sí? Uh, ¿Cuánto cuesta para una? 35 litros. 35, uno litro. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, perfect. Ooh, yeah, I got to drink some now. I am hot. So I just asked the uh, woman working here where the pineapples were from, and she just pointed like right over there. So I think there's a pineapple field literally just here. So this morning is probably the scariest morning of our trip so far, because we just try to organize and see where we want to cross into the USA. So we actually looked up Ichibut's channel where she crossed into the USA from Mexico. And we were watching it and we were like, oh, that looks easy. And then in the last second, she was like, ah, oh, I needed to apply four weeks in advance for my temporary import permit. And we were like, what? What was this info about now? And now we are researching and apparently we have to apply in advance for our temporary import permit oh my god and apparently it's like four weeks in advance and we are like a few days maybe one week away from crossing the border yeah i don't know what to do we just checked our emails and we had an email from the environmental protection agency in the us and basically what they said to us is you do need an environmental protection agency exemption in order to get the bike into the US. We asked him can we go in without this and he said no you need this letter from us. So then we asked how long that would take to get the letter and he said it would be between 14 and 21 business days. We've actually booked in to get married in Las Vegas. <laughs> And that wedding is supposed to happen in just over two weeks. Now we are in a really, really big, big, yeah, picker. I guess at this point, we have to go towards the border. Mm -hmm. We have to hope that this letter comes sooner than expected, or we just have to go to the border and try and cross it. I don't know. I don't know for now. To stop you on the side of the road, because look, this has got to be one of the biggest cactuses I have ever seen. Look at this, it's so absolutely massive. Look at the size of this trunk. Wow, it's like a tree. It's like a cactus forest here. Yeah, it's incredible. It's crazy, hey? It's incredible. I mean, look, look around, look. This is just cactuses all along here, all the way around on the sides of this little track. I absolutely love this landscape. Baja is beautiful. Nice! Wow! There's some big <laughs> cactuses there. Incredible! So cool. So cool. Wow.
check it out. Yeah. They're just checking there's no fence here, no? Yeah. Wow, it's like literally going to be camping in between these giant cactuses. That's actually really cool. It is actually really cool. So it looks like this house was under construction, but according to the comments, it's been abandoned for years. Wow. And so behind it is this nice flat area just here. Incredible. And oh my God, it's not just giant cactuses, but look at these crazy, I don't know, is it a tree? Is it a cactus? I don't even know. What is this thing? Look at this. I've literally, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> look at it, it's like a tree, but with tiny little thorny branches. Wow, look. It's like a, another world landscape. It's like you land on another planet. That really has to be one of the largest ones we've seen so far. Look at that. That is like at least six, seven, eight, maybe even 10 meters tall. So I think, yeah, we just got to find ourselves a nice spot, pitch up our tent, stay amongst all of the crazy plants i'm so impressed with this peninsula because it looks so different all the time yeah i mean now we're in like this crazy rocky coastal thing going on the landscape on this peninsula has changed like a thousand times and each time it's just so surprising and so impressive i mean look at this incredible absolutely incredible Okay, are you ready to fail to enter the US? Sweetheart! No, are you ready to successfully enter the US? Exactly! On a scale of 1 is to totally relaxed and 10 is like completely anxious, I think I'm on a 20. You know, I'm nervous crossing the borders like when we've got everything, like everything we actually need. <laughs> yes, and now true. we're going to the border without a key piece of document that we do need, so it's even worse. Hola. Hola, um, bajecito. Bajecito, entra, permítame. Ah, bajecito aquí. Sí. Okay, entrar aquí or no? Yeah, okay, okay. Really close now. Yeah. <laughs> Just want this car to go past. Breathe, 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 breathe. Okay, Ooh. I think I'm losing it. Aquí, okay. Oh, apparently that's, we can go through here. Okay. And that's the border wall right there. Look at that. Wow. That's the border wall. Wow. I think we better turn off our cameras. Okay. Okay, what's going on here? Look, it says stop. Oh my Lord. No. I, I think this is it. No. No. I think this is it. Look no. at this. I think that's it. No way! We have officially <laughs> entered the United States of America! <laughs> You're absolutely joking, hey? No, no, that's it. We're in. All right, let's see if they're in, hey? Yeah. Hey. We made it! We made it! We made it! So for now the most important thing is to decorate Bumblebee a little bit. So we asked Michelle to ride on USA on our nice box. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Alright! Happy and alive! USA! USA! USA. Wow, well, we're getting a lot of countries on there now. Flag. Oh yeah, we just installed on the back here, on the pole, our USA flag. Our little bodyguard as well, he's yeah. taking care of, of Bumblebee. <laughs> this is Bumblebee 2.0. Wow, we couldn't be more ready for this next leg in the US. So we just stopped on the side of the road to uh, have a bite to eat because we didn't have breakfast yet. And I put the bike on the side stand, but I guess our bags were too heavy and the, the hill was a bit too much and it actually fell over the side stand and fell over. That's really unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I've ever put it on the side stand and it wouldn't hold it. Yeah. 
We've got loads of weight on the bike at the moment with all of our full stuff. So we're going to have to take a couple of bits off before we pick it up. Hey guys, okay? I was driving this way and I saw you guys tipping over. Yeah. And I'm on my way to work. I work at the BMW shop in, uh, okay. in Fresno there. And, uh, and I just thought I'd come make sure you guys were okay. Well, it would be great if you could help us lift it back yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. It, we actually put it on the side stand, yeah. but it actually fell over the side yeah, stand. I saw that. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay, be careful, guys. <laughs> thank right, you, yeah, thank no you. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah, broken. It's kind of still on at the moment, but it's definitely got a crack again in it. So I think I'll just have to see if it will stay like that. I don't know if we can get another piece like this. We can see if there's a Suzuki parts store in Vegas. Yeah. We're just hiding from the sun here. We have reached Furnace Creek. This is the Furnace Creek General Store. And we found a little bit of shade here because this is where they recorded the hottest air temperature ever recorded on Earth. Anyway, we got to hit the road because we got to get to Vegas. We got to get there in time for our wedding. Yeah. <laughs> or should we miss it? <laughs> Sweetheart. My foot pedal. It's totally fallen down. I'm basically hovering my foot now. It's like 117 miles still to go to get to Vegas. Just over two hours to ride. So let's see if I can hover my foot for the next two hours. Two hours to Vegas, let's go. Just about see in the distance down in the valley all of the big mega casinos of the strip of Las Vegas. <laughs> I actually can't believe it that we made it in time. It's crazy though. No? Super I mean, crazy. We set this date to get here back when we were in Panama with so much of the bike braking being fixed, <laughs> crossing borders. It was really full on six weeks for sure. It was and I cannot believe it as well. I cannot believe that we're here in time on schedule. Six years ago when we both met, we said, okay, if we get married, we will get married in Las Vegas. And look at us, we are here. <laughs> yeah, you realize that in 22 miles, we're in Las Vegas, that you have no excuse anymore. <laughs> You're gonna have to follow through with it. We're gonna have to get married if we well, make it. We are not there just yet. <laughs> You're right, shall I just run us off the road now? <laughs> Let's turn around! <laughs> oh my god. I was sure we would never be able to make it here. I thought something was going to break, and things did break, but they got fixed, and now we are only 22 miles from Las Vegas. That's insane. Oh yes, it's going in. It's going in. I'm really proud of ourselves actually at the moment that we are able to fix the foot pedal by ourselves. I know it seems silly because we are sort of riding around the world, but <laughs> I have no idea about any technical things. But you know, you're learning whilst going along, I guess. It's on! <laughs> it's on! We did it! Yay! 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 <laughs> Look, mechanics hands. Yay! <laughs>
Wise man say, only fools rush in. But I can help falling in love with you. We just got dropped off by the bus and we already got views of the canyon. That looks unreal actually. When you've seen one Grand Canyon, you've seen them all, haven't you? Yeah. Here we go, crossing the state line. Welcome to Utah! That is state number four in the USA. What a place to come into Utah. Wow, look at this. It's quite a nice view. It's a, very, it's a crazy view, look at that. Such a cool place. a nice chilled weekend but we've got miles to do now we have oh, yes. we have a journey ahead of us the first step is straightforward ride to vancouver but then we had to figure out where we could fly the bike to that would enable us to ride back to europe southeast asia wasn't an option as myanmar's civil war meant that we couldn't cross this region easily plus many countries on this route required a carnet de passage an expensive passport for the bike and special visas that would have required us to fly back to england to apply for china also wasn't an option as you had to book a guided tour in order to ride there which when wanting to cross the whole country would have been way over budget this left the only option of riding through Russia, into Mongolia and towards Kazakhstan. But there was one major problem with this plan. Companies in Canada had stopped shipping into Russia and there were no flights going there. So there was only one way to get us and the bike into the country, going via South Korea. Luckily for us, South Korea is operating a single ferry once a week from Donghae to Vladivostok our ticket to returning home. So we've now booked a flight for us and Bumblebee from Vancouver to Seoul. We will then have one week to reach the coast and board our ferry towards the Asian mainland. It's going to be a hectic ride as our Russian visa is also due to expire next month. So every week counts. If we miss any connection along the way, our journey may well be over. The reality of riding around the world. Oh, is dead. But yeah, we have another 150 miles on the highway. <laughs> and now it's time to clean up. That's your job. <laughs> oh, oh, the first marriage uh, discussion here. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We must have had to time everything. 
Oh, right. it's yeah, logistically, it's pretty tough and expensive. Yeah. yeah. We'll actually fly it out from uh, Vancouver here yeah. to, to South Korea. While you're going there next. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then we'll arrive back home, hopefully. <laughs> Good for you guys. Thank you. Thanks Thank so, you much. so much. Thank you. See you later. Here we are. We're in Canada, country number 22. Yeah! Another journey around the world. Woo! I'm so yes. excited. <laughs> nice. Woo! So glad that we made it here. And we made it here in time for our shipping to bring Bumblebee from Vancouver to Seoul, South Korea. The day after tomorrow. Yes. Bumblebee goes. And we go this week as well. Yes! gonna be a crazy time ahead I can tell you that wow a busy time but an absolutely crazy time and I can't wait I think maybe just here All that right. would be nice yes yes we found somebody to write Canada <laughs> before we left Canada there you are thank you, thank you so much <laughs> it's awesome bye bumblebee bye <laughs> There we go. We're on the old sandals and socks again. We're on our way back to the campsite now without our beloved wheels. But everything has been paid for, everything is good. Marie told us that all the paperwork's in order and everything should be good to get Bumblebee over to South Korea by next week. Oh, yeah. very good. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh you, you win. <laughs> Wow, that looks nice here, hey? Cool, yeah, wow, look at all the lights. I can't believe wow. it. This entire building is just covered in LEDs. Hello. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. Look at all of these guys with their traditional outfits. Wow. You guys look absolutely amazing. Yeah, thank it's you. beautiful. Oh, very nice to meet you. Hi. Whoa, is that tofu? So the waiter was telling us that this is actually where they make the tofu. And you can see it, there's some like giant blocks over there in the water. Looks like a dreamland for us here. Wow, look at the size of this piece of tofu. Oh my god. Amazing! And we're having like all these little dishes here as well. <gasps> I'm in heaven. It looks so good. It so looks so good. Oh my god. I'm totally stuffed. <laughs> That's a lot of tofu. Just having a little lie down, hey? <laughs> I guess that's the good thing about eating on the floor. But it's a very exciting day because we are heading to the ferry terminal to take the ferry over to Russia. Yay! <laughs> I have been waiting for this day for such a long time. Yeah, I can't believe I just said like we're about to take the ferry to Russia. How crazy does that yes, sound? Yes, it's crazy. Can you pinch me? I don't know if this is true or not. Oh. Thanks guys. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm gonna park up in front. Oh look, I think we're moving. Oh. We are officially on the move. We're just leaving the port of Donghae. Next stop, Vladivostok. First views of Siberia. Ooh. Crazy place. I can't believe we're here. It's gonna be crazy. We just met up with Yuri and look what he has for us. <laughs> ah, the paper of dreams. Temporary import permit <laughs> is done. All we have to do now is go and pick up Bumblebee. Yoo! Our first views of Bumblebee. Ooh. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. There she is. Oh yes, here we go. You on the streets of Vladivostok. Oh, that's so good. Wow, what an amazing feeling. So Sergey is going to write on our box, the box of dreams. Russia. <laughs> Nature park. Nature park. And they say in this nature park yeah. is is tiger. Yeah. It's awesome. There we go. We saw a tiger. Amazing. <laughs> cool. So we thought whilst we were riding so close to the Chinese border, we would make an effort to try and actually go and see China. Oh. It's just like a military park. Oh, okay. Okay. Hey, that's pretty crazy, hey? Maybe we can't go through. Oh, okay. Maybe it's better if we don't. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm gonna stop filming. Can't go any further. No. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> we wanted to see the border to China. Okay, maybe China. China is here, no? Yeah, it's here. Yeah, China. A document, please. Document? You want the, okay. Tourism? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay to, to see the, the river, the border? Тут нужен пропуск. Понимаешь? Пропуск нужен. The passport. Нет. Пропуск, чтобы проехать через ППК. Oh, no. Sorry. What is translation? Нужен вам пропуск. Въезд в пограничную зону. You need a pass to enter the... Ah, oh, okay, okay. Da. Okay. 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 That's fine. We go this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Спасибо. 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 Yeah, okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, want to see? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> <Good job. Not good. Uh, Not good. Oh, this one. 
This one good, not good. I don't know. Okay. Okay, what's happening? Uh huh. This one new. Oh, it looks good. Perfect. So here. Ah, oh, it's good. You saved our lives. Pasiba, oh. thank you. Thank you. It's. Sergey has done it. He has found two screws that will go on our spokes and he's fixed it up. So Bumblebee is back to 100%. I just gave these kids our sticker, he's put it on his bicycle and then Lavi and Oli here on this bicycle Nice! Spasiba! 250 kilograms Yes! <laughs> Yes, this is it. Antipodal point number two. We are here. We have arrived. Ulan Ude. Woohoo! Oh, oh my god. It feels like an absolute lifetime ago that we were at Puerto Natales, but this is it. This is the exact opposite side of the world to Puerto Natales in Chile. Ulan Ude in Russia. Can you believe it? I can't. <laughs> Congratulations! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Ready to leave Russia and head into Mongolia? Yes, I am ready. Oh yeah. Well, anyway, our temporary import permit finishes today, so <laughs> I don't care if you're ready. We're doing it anyway. Yes. We're crossing this border today. We're going to turn off the cameras now because the border time is here. One eternity later. That's it, we're in. Welcome Yay! to Mongolia. <laughs> nice. And look, there's already some gets. That's so cool. Oh, I'm so happy, really. I'm so happy. Oh my God, look at this. <gasps> Whoa! No way! <laughs> There's a whole herd of goats crossing the road. <laughs> a huge herd of goats. Wow. How cute! Oh my god! Oh, and there's ah. the herd of there. Hello! Hello! <laughs> How cute! Oh my god, we're just riding along here and it gets nicer and nicer and nicer! I'm so impressed with Mongolia already and it's been just like 30 minutes, you know? <laughs> Beautiful mountains! <laughs> Welcome to Mongolia! Oh yeah! <laughs> Amazing! Okay, Ibe is about to ride Mongolia on the box. Mongolia. And... Oh, wow. <laughs> no way. Yeah. That's Mongolia. Yeah, yeah. Wow. This is Mongol. Mongol. Yes, Mong, Mongol. Mongol. So what's going on in here then? Oh, hello. Which meat? Sheep. 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 <laughs> sheep. Sheep meat. Me. Sheep meat. <laughs> yes. Me. Okay. And okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Oh, and the fire ah, is good. Yes. Very good. Because outside, <laughs> raining. No good. Baisa. So. Baisa. Yeah. Baisa. Yeah. Yes. 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 Thank you. Well, this actually looks really good.
What are you guys cooking? Oh! Kellogg, Kellogg! Oh! It's a marmot. It's a marmot. Oh, it's a marmot. You shot, shot the marmot. <laughs> what? This guy, he shot the marmot with a bow and arrow. No way. That's crazy. We've just stopped on the side of the road because we saw a small herd of camels over here. How cool is that? <laughs> They're all looking at us. They've totally noticed us. <laughs> What a scene, hey? Ulgi, 70 Ulgi. kilometers. Perfect. Okay, cool. That's where we're going. Perfect. I love how they have a sign and then like, this is the turn off. <laughs> like this, this is the turn off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna oh go my. down straight, I think is the easiest. Yeah, perhaps, eh? Okay. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, Ulgi, 70 kilometers this way. Go for it, guys. <sighs> we fell over. I went into a sandy bit in the middle and then we just slid. Oh. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, let's take the stuff off first, eh? Hey? Okay. Hello. So let's just take off the pannier. Three, two, one. Yeah. Okay, there's this bit, which seems to have ripped. Okay, ready? Put the stand down. Okay, three, two, one, go! Okay, good. Yeah, this one on. This, the, the crash bar is bent, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, Baitha. <laughs> How did the Moscow Moto Pannier do? It's got loads of dirt in it, but it seems to have uh, survived. How does that look? Okay. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Baitha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks okay otherwise. That could have ended really, really bad. Careful, careful. <laughs> oh, it's okay? Okay, cool. Oh no! Oh no! No, no! Ah! Oh no! Oh no! No, no! Ah! Okay. Hi. Thank you. What an amazing location. We've got our climate tent and our climate chairs to make for the most scenic and most comfortable camp. our first fall of the day. Ow. Hello. 
Hi. <sighs> okay, three, two, one. Gotta put the stand down. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one here. Yeah. Oh damn it. Hold oh, yeah. We swap bike. You this one, we this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Terrible corrugation now. Oh my god, this road just gets from bad to worse. Seriously. <sighs> Look how much we're shaking around. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like whether it's deep sand or you've got some grip, but it's just shaking the whole bike loose. Uh, it's not easy. <laughs> not easy. Okay, so we just stopped because I heard like a tsh kind of noise and this whole area here is kind of wet with oil. There's oil all in here. It looks like there's a valve here and there's oil coming out of this valve. I don't know why this stuff is coming out there. Yeah, I don't know why stuff is coming out there. Oh no, 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 no! Damn it! Duh. And it's seriously... Look at it! <sighs> oh, 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 you hurt my neck! Oh. You hurt your neck? You hurt my neck! Because you landed on my head. No! No! I fell off my shoe. Your shoe fell off. We can't get out of the panniers properly. It's probably just the oil falling onto the exhaust oh, okay. and saying some smoke is coming out. This just became so sandy. Just, just hang on, I'll help. I'm done. I'm really like, I'm done. It's okay, I can do it. If you just press the thing, three, two, one. Why is it stuck? I can't use this shoulder properly. Okay, we're gonna have to just lift it with it. Ready? We're gonna try. Three, two, one, go! Three, two, one, go! Yeah. 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 Okay. It's upright again. Foot pedal's still on. It's just really, really, really annoying because we can see some oil is coming out from the suspension then we can hear a noise all the time like a book just rattling hey i think the whole bike is just is just rattling itself apart and then we drop it all the time as well you know it's just not good you know it's not good oh my god okay so Tamag! oh <gasps> what a difference, hey, what a difference. This beautiful river here with the beautiful mountains. Finally, I can look around and take in this incredible landscape. Look ahead, it looks paint. Awesome. No way. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just got to stop for a minute. Yeah, let's, let's chill out for a minute, for sure. I just want to stop. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Oh, that was.
was really, really hard 50 miles. So we're getting pretty close to the border now, so we're just gonna take off the rear pole just to be safe. So they sent us back to Mongolia. Yeah, they didn't want to let us in. Only joking! Hey, <laughs> welcome to Russia! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump on. Aye. It's really crazy because every traveler told us, oh my God, the Altai area is so beautiful. And wow, we are just like 10 miles into this journey here and it's just incredible. We've only like ridden for an hour and it's already just... It's absolutely picturesque here, really impressive. Here it is, bison parking. Cool. Oh, the info board is only in Russian. I think we're gonna have to Google translate that one. Whoop, whoop, okay. Oh yeah. Amazing, look at that. They're absolutely huge. They have really, really big eyes. Wow. Oh, I just touched the bison on the nose. Wow, this is absolutely massive. Look at his head. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? Here's an apple to make up for it. He's like, I accept your apology. Today is actually a really, really special day because we're crossing into Kazakhstan and that means we are not overstaying our Russian visa. We had to apply for this Russian visa a year ago and this visa just expires in a few days. Today represents the last day in a long struggle to make it here before this visa expired. <laughs> and, oh my God. Oh, it's been really 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 difficult physically and mentally we haven't had a lot of rest recently because we've just had to keep going and going and going basically fighting the days yeah it was a hell of a ride hey <laughs> we were apprehensive about going into russia in the first place considering the global situation at the moment i'm really happy that we did it because it was absolutely uh, incredible to ride through yeah it wasn't what i expected at all and i'm really glad that we did it so the mission for today is to cross the border get into kazakhstan and reach the the city of Seme where we are really gonna have a much needed rest. So we are still in Semi and we decided to go actually to the hospital. The first translation I had was that there were seven fractured ribs and I was like seven fractured ribs and then they said no 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 rib seven is fractured like the seventh one down. They said it's a really uncomplicated fracture and there's nothing really to do except to take pain medication and keep doing breathing exercises. They also said that it's not going to cost me anything. They said it's completely free of charge which I have no idea why but it's amazing. And these are the awesome doctors here yeah. from the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The road is absolutely terrible. Terrible. I'm like going 27 miles an hour now. And I literally can't go faster. Otherwise we shake uncontrollably and the back wheel hits underneath Lavi's seat. Not fun at all. You know, even cars, they're just bouncing around as well. Yeah. Everything's bouncing around on this road, but yeah. we're like bouncing double. 20 miles an hour is my max speed. 20. 
Yeah. <laughs> and I'm still bottoming out the wheel. I can still hear it hitting underneath. At this rate, it's going to take us at least another three, three and a half hours. I'm just hoping that Bumblebee survives the day. <laughs> want to know what's the worst road we have driven so far on our journey it's this road I just can't believe it it looked so all right on the paper like it was just straight one corner and then straight just exhausted <laughs> okay, cool. Hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Oli, nice to meet you. Alib. Alib. And this one, Bumblebee. Bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> it's already taking Bumblebee apart. <laughs> Bumblebee. Let's try out the new shock. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> it's good now. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Bravo. Spasiba, spasiba. Opa. Yep. Yes. Woo! Bumblebee is alive. Good to go. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I really like your hat. Yes. Kalpak. Kalpak. Kyrgyz traditional. Okay. Yes, form, okay. form okay. traditional. Yes. Wow. Yeah, your boots are amazing. Yes. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> the Kyrgyzstan roadblock. <laughs> ah, yeah, go on, all cross now. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Yo! Wow, look at this views! Wow, we just came up and over a little pass and this looks like a crazy road down ahead. Oh my God, it does. So we're going to be going around here and then yit 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 down yeah. down baby wow crazy wow oh wow look at this oh. hold on a minute i'm gonna have to go through because i'm not going to the edge okay oh wow okay. okay i'm just again i just have to go through yeah oh wow well that was deeper than i imagined Whew. Jesus! <laughs> We've definitely had a lot of rain here. Wow! Wow! Oh my god! Let's hope that the other side of the mountain is a bit drier. Yeah. Oh no, look at this. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, no, this is a little bit. Oh. Yeah, that's a bit dodgy, that was. Oh, wow. yeah. Okay, that was pretty. That, that was, was dodgy, definitely. Yeah. It was definitely hitting. Hitting the back tire, very hard. Oh, very good, very good. Ah. Very good. Very good. Very good. That was man. Ah, it started hailing. Luckily, we are wearing our helmets. Oh. Not good at the moment, not good. It's terrible weather to be up here. Yeah. Oh man. We've got literally no visibility anymore. It's like, look at this, this is crazy. I can hardly tell where the edge of the cliff is and where the road is. It's ridiculous. Oh yes, I think we are at the top of the pass. Look at this! Yahoo! Yes, Sun we made it. We didn't die. <laughs> sunshine on the other side. Yeah, the weather's much better on the other side. It's pretty much sunshine over there. Look at that. This is where we're heading, hey? That's where we're headed. Yeah. Yeah, we're going all the way along and heading out that way. This is it. This is our highest point, and the weather's looking a lot better on the other side. Yeah. And look, the sheep's coming to say hello. Yeah. Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> Hi guys! Oh, I'm so glad that we got past that bit. Man, uh, <sighs> Yeah. We made it! We made it to the top. Beautiful. <laughs> so 
So which way am I going to go? I think I'll just go like straight down the middle. It's not deep sand, I think. Here? No. I'll see you at the bottom. Nice, look at this. Talk to cool reservoir. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a nice camping spot, eh? This is it, the Kazakhstan border. You. Okay, let's say hello to this one. To this guy, yeah? yeah. Okay. We've seen these guys so many times riding past hello. that I just want to be their friend. Hello. Do you think we should give them some? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a nice one. Mmm, I would eat that. What is he doing? He wants something to eat. Do you like this one? Hey? <laughs> 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 I don't know if he wants it. Do you want this one? I'm not sure what he wants. <laughs> wow, look how big his eyes are. Yeah, wow, beautiful animal. Oh, he's trying to eat it. Give him some grass. He's trying to eat you. <laughs> he wants to eat my hands. Come on, eat the grass. It's a nice piece of grass. It's a nice bit. Oh, I don't think that he likes this one. We should have gotten like carrots or something. Yeah, they probably would prefer some carrots or something nice. Look, he's eating the <gasps> same thing that we just offered him. Mm. This is a really nice one. I love him. Look at them, they're so yes, lovely. They're so lovely. They seem quite friendly as well. Yeah. Oh, he's a nice camel. 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 Wow, he's so lovely. Oh, you're so nice. Oh, he's so big as well. I can't believe how big they are. I can feel him swallowing. I can feel his throat when he swallows the grass. It's like glunk. See, I told you we could make friends with them. At the moment, the land borders in Azerbaijan are still closed. At the moment, the idea is to put Bumblebee on a boat to Azerbaijan and then for us we may have to fly into Azerbaijan because you are allowed to fly in you are just not allowed to cross any land borders and then we will go to the port and pick a bumblebee and continue from there Azerbaijan we're coming Goodbye, goodbye, Azerbaijani police. <laughs> goodbye to Alat Ferry Port. Oh, goodbye, it was a nice time here. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are finally out. 
Bumblebee is free! Woo! Yes! Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Cheese, 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 cheese. Hey! Amazing. Name, name. Name, love you. Love you. Love you. Oh, name. Uh, Oliver. Prince. Married. Married. Yes. <laughs> Your name. Okay, name Seville. 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 Nice Seville. to meet you. <laughs> Very nice, Seville. Uh -huh. Ribiata, baby. No? Baby. No, no, no. 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 After. No. After. No, no space. <laughs> no space. Baby, yes, no. Baby, no. No, no. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very good. Very good. All right, I think we are arriving at the Azerbaijan Georgia border. Yeah, let's check it out, hey? Oh, cool. Okay. How do you say Georgia? Sakatolo. Sakatuelo. Okay. There he is, Mr. Mark Travels. Nice. How's it going? <laughs> nice to meet you. Well, we almost didn't hear you. It's just like, yeah. it's crazy. So this is the bike. nice to be riding in the winding mountain roads with another awesome moto traveler so yeah it's really cool that we could do this together oh and i think we're here look at that whoa there it is anna nuri fortress magica what a setting hey wow just on top of the reservoir whoa that looks amazing Hello. Nice. Beautiful. Wow. There it is. We have finally officially made it to the Black Sea. Wow. It's beautiful here. Amazing to think that on the other side of this sea is Bulgaria. And Bulgaria is like... Still so far away. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's already Europe. Made it to the Black Sea. Do, do, yeah. do, do. <laughs> this is a milestone. This is the next sea. Yes. First it was the Caspian, then the Black Sea, and then it'll be the Mediterranean. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Getting closer and closer. Yeah. But I can tell you my bump is hurting. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. English? Uh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, well, coming into a super crazy gorge here. Look at this. It's awesome. Stunning views. Wow. Whoa, what a road. Look at this. absolute favorite road here yeah this is one of the most spectacular roads we've ridden in a long time in a long time
There's a turtle here in the road. <laughs> a massive turtle. Wow, cool. I think we should help it cross the road, hey? Yeah. I think he's heading this way. Okay, buddy, we're gonna put you in the right place. Whoa. Oh, he's quite big. It's quite heavy. Hello. Hello. Come, let's go. Wow, what an amazing creature. I reckon I'll put him, because he'll probably find it hard over these rocks. <coughs> Here, on the grass. Here. Here, perfect. There you go. Beautiful. So we're coming into the Cappadocia area now and we're already starting to see some beautiful rock formations. Yeah, it really looks so cool. Wow. Look, look at this. This is the fairy castle. Oh. These. And they have like loads of them around this area. Beautiful. Look at that. Hello. Whoa, what a crazy area! Absolutely magical place, eh? So at the moment, they're just pumping air actually in the balloon and they're getting bigger and bigger so cool. There's so many of them. It's so big. Wow, here we go. Wow. It's going up right. It's going up right. It's going! Yes! Wow! to launch up in the air now everywhere all around us this place is so incredible hey guys yeah high five high five <laughs> this is the reason why i love traveling i love it so much it's not everywhere in the world you can see this the Turkish people they just created something really 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 incredible here it's like the best idea ever I would love to work here you know I want to work here I want to see this every day it's like a dreamland Moto ADV garage it's like a little ADV course here <laughs> just to get to the ADV garage. <laughs> oh, there's a bike from Austria. Hello. Hello, <laughs> Hello how's it going? One shift later. Oh, yes. There she is. <laughs> guys the Bosphorus Bridge can you believe it after 40,000 miles we will finally head back into Europe this is gonna be absolutely <laughs> crazy 
Why would you believe it? There's a traffic jam <laughs> <laughs> on the bridge. That's great. Yeah, I think it's really fitting that our return to Europe is in a traffic jam. <laughs> yes. Anyway, this will give us a lot of time to appreciate this beautiful, amazing bridge connecting Asia to Europe. <sighs> this is definitely a very, very nice moment this is it this is us saying goodbye to asia bye bye asia and hello to europe <laughs> yes well yes this is it <laughs> touching down in europe <laughs> we made it happy and alive <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that hey we have just crossed from the asian side of istanbul to the european side and forty thousand miles after leaving europe we're back baby we are back oh cool look at the sign welcome, welcome to, to europe, europe. yes <laughs> welcome to europe <laughs> oh that's amazing that oh, is cool. amazing this is a milestone this is a major milestone of the journey after so many miles since vladivostok i mean i don't even know how many miles we've ridden since we landed in vladivostok but it feels like a lifetime ago <laughs> yes. Good morning guys, you can hear the little bells all jingling. Sometimes I just want to be a sheep herder, <laughs> just wandering around with your, your flock. Yes, I like the sound they're making. I guess it gets quite annoying for him after a while though. I think it's quite meditative. I would put different notes on each one. Oh, that's a good idea. And then like you'd have like this ding dong dong ding 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 ding. Maybe randomly once a day they would play like Beethoven. <laughs> you could definitely record them and then make a sheep album. Exactly. Techno flock. <laughs> Oh yes, there it is, the Mediterranean Sea, beautiful. How nice, eh? We're on holiday! <laughs> yes! Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. Beautiful water. This is like a proper holiday destination here. Yeah. Okay, let's see what's going on. Maybe this is close enough. Oh yeah, look, car access is not permitted. Okay. You are close to the bear sanctuary. Walk quietly on the path as to not disturb the animals. Okay. 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 Bye, Bubblebee. Bye-bye. Yeah, so let's go find some bears. Yeah. Butter tourists, butter bears, butter walk here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Goodbye, beautiful brown bears of Greece. <laughs> Goodbye. I always like places like this, just doing good for the local wildlife of their country, trying to restore ecosystems, rehabilitate wildlife. It's just an amazing thing to see. <laughs> cool. Oh, wow. Oh, nice. It's got a little fireplace as well. Amazing. A nice little simple house for the night. Yeah. So we got our log pile here and we've got our roaring fire here. Look at that. All right, we are here in the beautiful area of Papingo. And look at this epic, epic mountain view ahead. I mean, what a vista, hey? This is absolutely insane here. Unreal. And they should be somewhere up here. Oh yeah, there they are! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Don't drop it! <laughs> no. 
How's it going? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So are you guys ready to ride the Papingo Happen Road? Yeah. Are you ready to ride that Papingo Happen Road? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to lead. We've got the drone up in the air. And it's going to be a crazy road. I can see it already. Nice, look at this! Wow, what a stunning road, really, I can't believe it! This is absolutely crazy. How many hairpins does this road have? Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Woohoo! Yes! <laughs> it's just so cool to be riding this road with another awesome overlanding couple. Yeah, oh the God. funniest couple in the world. Hello. Ah, okay. Hello. Good evening. Oh, yes. We have officially reached the Italian mainland. We're in Italy. Where are we going? Pizza for breakfast. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. It looks really good. There's some peppers, some artichokes, some olives, tomatoes. That looks good. <laughs> this is what I want for breakfast. I want the mountains, the wine, the pasta, the, the pizza. Look at that, hey? Wow! That's the best breakfast ever. Guys, I don't know what's happening here, but they really love all these boots. That is absolutely a disaster. Look at that. Oh no, they're like everywhere. So here's the cookie trail leading out the boot towards the cookie mecca. Come on guys, out you come. Welcome to Rome. So now we have the honor of Giulio yeah. writing Italy on our box. Not with yeah. my hand, but with my heart. You know. <laughs> You're so romantic. Yeah, <laughs> always. Exactly. Italia. The Italian. <laughs> Italia. Italia. Bellissimo. <laughs> I love it. Grazie, grazie. Grazie. So now is the moment of truth. Is Bumblebee going to turn on? Please, 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 please. Okay. Is it neutral? Yep. No, no, no. Bumblebee's battery is 
definitely, definitely broken. Broken. Totally broken. Yeah. Um, uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. Grazie, grazie. Grazie. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh! There it is. oh. <laughs> no way! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's crazy! Wow! Okay. We just parked right next to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> cool. I get a picture of you quickly before somebody tells us we're not allowed to be here. I don't even know if we are allowed to be here. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! It doesn't actually look leaning from this side. Okay, to take a picture. Oh, thank you. Ready? <laughs> Trying to rainproof my broken rain trousers. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the normal preparation, you know? Yeah. This is the second pair of rain trousers I've had. These things just aren't built to last. Luckily, we have this magic white tape. <laughs> yeah, a big roll as well. Yeah. I'm not getting wet shins today. I'm going all in today. <laughs> I think that looks great. So we just checked the map and we realized that we've already crossed into Germany! Woo! But we did not see any border anywhere. No, nothing! Here you go, the Brandenburg Gate. Cool! Platz des 18. März is like something was happening here on the 18th of March. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The statue on top there was stolen by a Napoleon. Don't know if you can go closer. Lots I will ask police. him. Entschuldigung, dürfen wir dort hinfahren? Zum Foto machen? Oder ist das verboten hier? Ja, dann fahren Sie rum. Normalerweise dürfen Sie nicht reinfahren. Okay, sorry. Oh, oh okay. So, ist okay. Ja, okay. einmal, einmal so rum. Ja. Durchfahren nicht, ne? Okay, okay, good, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So they said we, we can go and take a photo, but normally we're not allowed. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, okay, no, I see. Normally we're not allowed. Oh, okay, just in front, yeah? Yeah, okay. just in front, because we have to go the other way out again. Hi, I can you a photo? Yeah. We're going to go here. This is my brother and this is my dad. <laughs> and my dad is a, a surprise guest. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bumblebee meets the shoals. <laughs> the shoals. Welcome to Germany. Mommy. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> and guys, do you know what I just saw? We just hit 46,000 miles on the road. Bye, ciao, ciao. Love you. Bye bye. Oh, that's nice. Oh, so nice and warm. <laughs> Man, it's cold out there, hey.
So we just made it into the Netherlands. Woo! Country number 38 on our trip around the world. And I'm sorry if there's water on the lens, but there's water everywhere. We're also taking a ferry. How cool is that? Oh. Yeah, we had no idea. We just rocked up. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that, hey? <laughs> like the Garmin just literally rooted us to here and then we were like, what? This is a river what? and there's no bridge. <laughs> Turns out we get a ferry ride today. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm trying not to run you over. <laughs> yes, we made it. Happy and alive. Happy and alive. Happy and alive. <laughs> So we've arrived here at the meeting place. There's some other bikers. Maybe this the guys. <laughs> ah, <Woo>! yes. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Our Dutch convoy. Wow, you can't ask for better weather for a day's ride, hey. Wow, it's blue skies, sunshine. It's just the best day ever. Just two more days like this. Please, please, weather gods. <laughs> and I'll be happy. Yeah. yeah, what a nice, nice ride. Yeah with some nice, nice people. So I just saw on the Garmin that we just passed into Belgium. <laughs> Welcome to Belgium. Welcome to Belgium, country number 39. I have, I have no idea. <laughs> I think it's 39. Country number 39. Yay! Wow, and actually our last new country of the whole trip. Ronnie, is it? Oh, Oli, yeah. Oli, nice oh, to meet Robbie you. Williams, you can choose. Uh, <laughs> cheers, cheers, so cheers. Thank you for the invitation. Yeah, it's such a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Love you and Oli, the yes. two most positive world travelers I know. <laughs> in just one hour's ride, we will be arriving in Calais in France, ready to take the ferry over to Dover in England. <laughs> what? <laughs> Our final country of the trip. We have one more ride tomorrow to get to London, to get to the Ace Cafe, and then the journey is officially over. And then we can call ourselves the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. <laughs> okay. We're boarding! We're boarding! Leaving <laughs> Europe! <laughs> we are boarding! Boarding, boarding, boarding! The beautiful coast of England! <laughs> oh, what a great welcoming! It's as grey as I remember it. Oh, you're back in your homeland. Can you believe it? Here we go. Congratulations, Oli. You rode one time around the world. <laughs> we have hit dry land, <laughs> English dry land. Yay! We're here. <laughs> oh my lordy lord. We have entered oh. our final country of the trip. Back in England after 20 <laughs> months. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Here we are. Yeah. We've made it. Oh, oh my God, there are bikers. <laughs> yeah, there's some bikers here. Oh my here God. we go. Oh my God, we have to Whoa, be careful. Here we go. <laughs> we made it! Happy the Lord! <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Oh, it's so good. Hey, 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 hey. How's it going? Oh, Chris, what's going? <laughs> journey <laughs> yeah after 46,685 miles on the road just the last one <laughs> the last one. one. Oh my lord <laughs> ah yes I think we're here uh, yeah. yes I think this is it this is the Ace Cafe! We're here! Here they come! Woohoo! Yes! Yes! There we go. Ah. Andre, how are you? Thank you for coming. A long time. Hello, hello. We made it. Yes. Andy, thank you so much. Yeah. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get on the road. Let's go. Let's go back to France. I heard you were going to carry on and go around again. No, tomorrow. <laughs> Odometer for the trip. Uh, let's have a look. 46,686 miles. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Happy Thank <laughs> you. 